Its energy surrounds us and binds us. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Carbonite Combos. If this is your first time joining us, you've just taken your first step into a larger world. And if you're a returning listener, we always appreciate the support. And thanks again for coming back for another reaction here at Carbonite Combos. Today, we're re- well, tonight, early morning, whatever you want to call it, this morning, this uh, tonight, we're reacting to episode six of WandaVision. It came out about five minutes ago. So we are hopping on and we are going to you know, watch this episode with you guys. I'm joined by Alec Porterfield, a.k.a. Wallcrawler Pops on Instagram and Twitter, like always. Alec, how are we doing? Nick, good morning. I mean, good night. I mean, good morning. I mean, good night. A little confused there, guy. It is 3.07. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, 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 just, I'm just kidding, man. I'm I'm pumped, as usual, to watch another episode. We had a great week um, with with the show and everything, so um, I know this is going to top it off, top it off right, so I'm ready to get to it. Definitely. You uh, you think we're going to see anything anything wild this week? I know it's the highly anticipated Halloween episode. Yeah, one thing I'm actually interested in, so um, there was kind of, not really a spoiler, but kind of, there was a leak of, of the Funko Pops of uh, Tommy and, uh, is it Billy? Yeah. Yeah, Tommy and Billy, and they were dressed, I think, in their Halloween costumes, so I don't know if that has anything to do with whatever powers they may get or something like that, but I have a feeling we might find something out about that this episode. I'm pretty sure this is the Halloween one, so. Yeah, there's definitely a chance we could find that out. Um, Before we get into the episode, though, really quick, we'll just talk about this. If you're a Star Wars fan, we had an awesome interview with Emily Swallow this week. Uh, We interviewed her on Tuesday night, and the episode premiered on Thursday, so yesterday slash today. Um, She she actually plays the armorer in The Mandalorian, and she was... She was awesome. She was one of the nicest people I've ever talked to. And she gave us some awesome behind the scenes uh, information about the armor. So I don't know if she was a hundred percent allowed to tell us some of the stuff she did. Um, I'm sure she was. I'm sure everybody. I'm sure there's a little wiggle room in there. Yeah. Everybody working with star Wars and Marvel. um, Nothing, nothing can be as bad as like a Tom Holland. So Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Especially that lie that he said that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are not in my movie. It's like, come on, man. Who are you trying to fool? All right. But we won't get into that. But before we get started, don't forget to follow us on um, all social media platforms at Carbonite Combos and subscribe to us, um, especially on YouTube. Like this video, um, comment, subscribe if, if you know, if you if you enjoy this video. But definitely, if you like this video, please uh, give us a thumbs up, guys. It really helps us out. But, Alec, I'm ready to get into this if you are. Dude, I've been ready. All right, hit play, my man. All right, let's do it. <coughs> Looks to be about a 30-minute th- episode, so it's always good. It's like uh, Malcolm in the Middle. Is it? I think so. Okay. Did you see that? No. He just moved like... Um, like uh like quicksilver so it's quicksilver most likely The weird part about it is that he acts like they've known each other their entire lives, and it, it, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. There's your answer. Hmm. 
Do you notice it says Stark Industries on that? Did it really? Yeah. So Howard must have made it. Bag. She's she's pissed. How'd she get the gun so quick? Okay. Well, that you just got your answer. Mm -hmm. Man, the more he talks, the more I'm starting to think that it might not be the X Men one. I don't know. Like, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Completely like, in could, the dark, but you think it could potentially be like something to do with the Mind Stone? Maybe. That's the only thing I can think of. I used to hate Darcy's character. I, I did hate, too. I couldn't stand her. She, I, I don't mind her anymore. Like she, she's grown on me. It, it was a hex. <sighs> she just didn't care before. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Decayed signature of vibranium. That would be terrifying this walking down a street with everybody frozen a little bit i wonder if maybe that's why this is happening because she's it's getting too big for her to handle could be i feel like we're about to see something pretty big Looks good to see him like that. It's kind of natural. Yeah. Looking over everything, it reminds you a lot of Ultron. Looking out of Stark Tower. Yeah. That's the vibe I got as well. I've never thought of Agnes like one of the others, but right. I don't know if she's she, well, doing she that very to Vision on purpose or She or seems what. so in control so far, but 
right there. Wanda said don't go past Ellis, so something nuts is past Ellis. That's got to be the border of it. Mm -hmm. That was really weird. You're an Avenger. It's like, what's an Avenger? Oh, I mean, dude, she was literally laughing like a witch right there, too. Like... My guy. She's gonna get powers. A lot of people are saying she already has them, but she might. I don't think she does yet. That commercial was the first time we didn't see that lady and man. Oh my gosh! Gosh, man! That's strange. It makes it seem like she's making him too. Or maybe she's just remembering it. Well, that's his dead body. Just like how it kind of ha it has to be the same how it showed visions dead body early a couple episodes ago how would she, but she, but we know that she took vision's body we don't think she took pietro's body Darcy's is going to get sucked in. I feel like it'll stop before it gets to Darcy. Never mind. This is nuts. What are we doing? What are we seeing, man? Okay. Oh my goodness. Hear me out. Let's hear it. Which one which one is like Quicksilver? Which kid? I don't know. I can't tell which one whatever. Whichever one was not the Quicksilver-esque. 
who he wasn't like Wanda and he wasn't like Vision. What if this is how they tie X Men into this type of thing? Is that he becomes like Professor Xavier type? I I don't know. I don't know a lot about. And, and again, I, I don't know exactly, but like that's what it seemed like to me. Maybe it's kind of the thing where instead of it being Magneto's kids, that she creates Magneto and uh, and Professor X type of situation. I don't know because his powers are not like either of theirs in any way. That was different. That was weird. No, but the thing is, is it, it's it's almost like it is coming from the Mind Stone because he can see outside of this hex he could see maybe not exactly what vision sees but he only started hearing and seeing this stuff when vision stepped out so there has to be some kind of link there um Hmm. i'm curious to who monica rambo's friend is her ride i don't know if that's the aerospace engineer she was talking about or if it um was somebody else um i think that's that's going to be interesting to find out but did we see the wall? Well, yeah, we saw it stop. We didn't see the barrier stop, but we saw her eyes stop. So we can assume that she that stopped. Bigger. Um, and you have to assume that that um, expansion went both ways, I'd assume. So who knows what all she trapped in there, but it's get it's going to be really interesting in episode seven to see what happens with Vi- between vision and Wanda. Do you think vision could, do you think, how, why do you think vision was getting sucked in? Like, do you think he can live outside of this now? Or do you think, I, mean, the- I don't, I think it was clear that he can't live outside of it. Cause the minute he was holding himself out of it, he, he died and he laid in the exact position that he did in infinity war, which was uh, like gut wrenching. I, I don't know. We say that every week, every single week. This was a good episode. Um, it, it was, wasn't, it wasn't as crazy as um, no. I'd say as last week or the week before. But I feel like definitely... we got some, a little bit of answers um, about some things. Like I expected just... Agnes to be in it more. I did not expect her reaction to to be that way. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't have a good feeling about that. To be completely it's almost honest, like maybe it was fake, and she's the, trying well, to. No, no, it's. It, I don't think it was. Well, right, it could have been fake because it, even the subtitles. I had the subtitles on. Oh, really? It said, it said laughing menace menacingly. Well, no, no, like I, I wouldn't take that because she did laugh menacingly. Right, but it's like that could have been like her like going insane, like freaking out, panic attack, or like something potentially yeah. kind of evil. And it said menacingly, so like that was super weird. Everybody glitching and not moving. Um, it's almost like the farther you get towards the barrier, the less not power she has, but um, she doesn't even know how she did it. It, it, man, that scene hit hard where she's like, I don't know how I did it. Um, I just remember endless loneliness. And like, that's that's got to be rough. That's got to be rough. Because nobody, yes, people experience loss, but the type of... She lost literally everything. The type of connection she had with vision, like, you know, you don't have that in everyday life because... That's like a Big Bang falling in love with a Mrs. Big Bang, you know? Dude, I mean, she's literally lost everyone. Her parents, brother. How about that commercial? Vision. That was weird. Do you no that idea. Did that... the sh- like the shark was him? No, no, no. That the kid was because he was he looked really hungry. Um, well, he died. Mm-hmm. But the thing about it is that's the first one where we haven't seen. Like a brand, like. Well, no, no, like, no. We saw a brand. It's Go Magic, or but what I meant was, every other time we see a woman, we see the woman, and we see that man, and this is the first time we haven't seen that. That um, could have been a that could have been a time period thing, as well. Yeah. No. You, may, may, maybe. But the, there had to, 
there has to be some link between those two people and why she was remembering them in every advertisement and who this kid is. Cause that was pretty freaky how he just decays there trying to open this yogurt yogurt. <laughs> yeah. I don't it, know. It, it reminded me of a Capri Sun commercial. Yeah. What's cool is next week episode next week's episode should be the nineties, so we're gonna have friends and Seinfeld and well, is that I, not I, what this was? I don't know. This was the eighties. I thought two weeks ago was the eighties. Or last week was the eighties. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure this one was the nineties. 50s, 60s, 70s, break, 80s. No. There's no way because a lot of people were saying that um, it, this was the 80s. Be, uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. but I could be too. I don't know. You'd think they'd go with Friends or Seinfeld for the 90s. Not Well, Malcolm. that's why I got that whole Malcolm in the Middle type. Like Even like the font in the introduction yeah. was very similar. I don't know, man. I don't know. Another another crazy I have no episode. idea. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. All right, but uh, sorry, were you gonna were you gonna say something? Yeah, you were. Nah, nah. Don't be nah. nervous, bro. Don't be nervous, man. It's all good. <sighs> but guys, um, I think we'll wrap this one up. It it was fun, like always. If um, you know, you want to see more reactions, you can definitely go back and check out our reactions to both the Mandalorian season two and Wad division episodes one through six now. Um, but man, this was a crazy episode, Alec. Yeah. I know you're trying to say something, man. No, I was going to say like, you know, I think you guys have done absolutely incredible. Like drop in your, your theories and thoughts in the comments. Yeah. And to be completely honest, Nick and I read all of every them. single one. So because please- there's some, there's some really interesting things that get said in there. Um, so you know, keep dropping those because they're definitely getting seen. So, yeah, it's it's like people when we say something, they'll they'll rebut it mm-hmm. with their theory and be like, oh, yeah, that was this. So it, it helps us learn a lot. So definitely let us know uh, your theories, your comments in the comments. Um, don't forget to check out our interview with Emily Swallow, a.k.a. the armor from The Mandalorian. Um other than that, we're going to have some some unboxing videos coming out this weekend and later on uh, Friday. Alec, did you say you're putting it out tomorrow? Yep, it'll be out tomorrow. What, today? Right. It should yeah. be out today. So Yeah, so it should be out by now. Um, Alec's doing an unboxing. Um, and also, I'm going to be doing a Star Wars art untubing tomorrow. So definitely come back to the channel to check that out. Um, got some pretty cool stuff for you guys. Um, but like always, guys, until then, may the Force be with you. Remember, the Force will be with you, always.